Now, many of you saw the McBain uh, sketch in his fencing book with the pike being held uh, for thrust or whatever, and uh, you see a brief motion of the touch. So, I will try to think about that a little bit more. Um, but for a start, here's the theory. For whatever reason, the guy in the picture has the pipe in a position that I can only say would make sense in this way, okay? I'm not sure about it, it looks very weird on the sketches, but then on the other hand, these sketches are what they are. They are sketches, so they are kind of rough and perfectly anatomic. So maybe, uh, I'm mistaken, maybe it's just a weird way to show somebody is rusting and the artist just did something wrong and didn't want to spoil his ink or whatever. Uh, or maybe this should be like a position we know from the quarter step of Zachary Wyatt, but holding it shorter, so this could be like a thrust or something, and I come over here with a cut. Or I came here with a parry, and I want to thrust forward like this. That would make some sense, okay? But it's not about the pipe man, it's more about the touch man. The touch shown in the McBain sketch is obviously the wrong way around, okay? Both it is a position like this. Of course, I think that McBain does not advocate to hold the touch like a, like a, boxing, uh, like a boxing target, okay? So I guess uh, he knew how the touch was used. So um, the only thing I could imagine is that this is this position, okay? Maybe that means, I discussed this with my friend Lai Brummel from the Sussex uh, Sword Academy a while back at the uh, International Saber Symposium in Hamburg. Probably this could be kind of this motion to carry. Okay? A little bit weird, but maybe in some cases why not? Okay? I don't mind now any text about it because I don't see any text really referring to that sketch. So here, maybe this could be kind of a technique to punch away the pipe of your opponent. However, that would be much easier with the edge. And then you are here protected, okay? So the edge of the rim of the targe would be much more interesting to punch this away than using the complete flat side of the targe. So again, keeping in mind this could be just a bad sketch, but if we take this seriously, with the spike in the middle, that gets more interesting because here, I now can transfer this back over here, okay? It's not so easy because the dummy here is a little stiff, okay? So from here, I could carry like this and then swap this over with control and go in. Still very weird and very complicated, but uh, could be. Uh, but just switch sides, you can see that I turn left for a moment, so I don't have to drag this heavy thing around for you. So, swapping the arms. So, the idea would be with the touch, I come here, parry. Now, with the spike, I have control to open them up here. Okay, so like binding and winding with the touch. Yes, I know, this will probably never ever work in any sparring. Still, just for the interest of something we see in a, in a source, maybe this could be something that makes a little bit of sense. And also it's a cool way to deploy the, 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 the spike here. So, uh, if, if I might be able to do this ever in sparring, you can officially call me the sword god of all masters. But I'm not very sure that I would ever be able to do that. But I will try it out for you in the next sparring, definitely. So, yeah, just some thoughts about the spike in connection with this McBain sketch. I don't know.